Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm here with my friend Kiki. Mm. <laughs> um, right now we're going to, um, I, I forgot the name, but it's a museum, it's free in Minnesota. Um, I'll probably say the name later today. Um, I'll link everything in the description below, where to come, how to get there, yada yada. But um, we decided to come here because one, it's Sunday, we're kind of both stressed. Um, it's free. <laughs> That's a huge plus. It's free to go into. Um, and it's got some great art pieces and stuff there. Um, it's called the Minnesota Institute of Art. The MIA or Maya, as some of us like to call it. Um, I've been here, like, I know for a fact two times before because I've been here, like, last year, late last year. Um... There is a lot of um, very culturally based um, exhibits in here where you're just learning about culture and stuff. Let's go that way. And it's just pretty chill. But to all my viewers, because I know most of us, most of my viewers are POC, um, there's a lot of um, white people here. <laughs> there's a lot of white people here, so it gets kind of... Um, claustrophobic you get you feel kind of claustrophobic if you're like not used to like so many um people like that here <laughs> um but other than that this is a lovely museum just to learn about other cultures and just to be more culturally aware of what other people what happened in other people's past but an issue that um I have with this art gallery or museum rather is that um, some of these definitions that they have for some of the um, exhibits or whatnot they're um, culturally incorrect um, my friends noticed that um, last time in, the art, in some of the art galleries is that like what they put for people they labeled the um, things as costumes or um, let's go upstairs as costumes and whatnot where they weren't actually costumes they were more so um how to word it they were how the people did their um special things or whatnot it was how people like did wedding ceremonies and like just special gatherings and so they weren't costumes they were traditional attire for traditional things and that's kind of frustrating, but um, yeah, take a walk with me and my friend Kiki around the museum and see if you ever want to come here.
just another one of me rambling. Food for thought. Um, if, if you have to put something in a museum, what does that mean to you? What does that speak to you? If you walk in this museum and saw something of your culture, something of your inheritance, inheritance, I can't speak English sometimes, what would that mean to you? How would you feel if you saw something that is, that's sacred, something that has no place for anybody else's eyes, something that's just of your family heritage, what would that mean to you? We're in a museum, right? And then my friend Kiki says, I just feel like all these displays are just really culturally appropriated. Just seeing all these, you know, cultures, um, mm -hmm. you know, indigenous people and everything. Um, basically, it's just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's just really prevalent since we do live in such, I'm assuming people who view this video are from America, <laughs> but um, if you live in America, because I can only speak from America, because I live in America and it's the only country I've been in, but since we live in such a white dominated culture, such a culture that is that washes over everybody else that come in this country. We have to learn how to adopt, how to achieve greater things because we live in here. And most of the things people do now, we're, we're kind of just whitewashed. And we're just trying to do our best in a country that is predominantly white. And with doing that, we lose our own culture and we lose our own self. It's a tough conversation that um, every culture eventually needs to realize that we're adopting slowly and slowly to the more dominant culture in which we live. <laughs> doesn't stretch long enough to hold this phone in my arms work because I've been working out but that's beyond the point the point is um Kiki brought up an interesting point or an interesting point earlier that said um they said a lot of people a lot of um white people that come here um they just look at the art pieces and they don't fully understand um it and they're not really questioning its belonging and uh setting that it is in and it's very frustrating because as me and Kiki are going around this place we're just like some things just don't belong in certain places and like you know it's cool to put like you know history up on the wall but is it really cool to to take someone for me example since 
I'm African American. We were taken from our land and brought here. And now it seems like they're just putting our artifacts and like our history on display. I don't know about y'all, but I kind of find that frustrating. I don't know. Maybe since this museum is like, maybe if this museum did it more accurately and they put like, um, they fact checked everything with like just more people, I, f I would feel better, but I don't. <laughs> I don't at all. Um, Key, do you have any midway thoughts? Mm. I, I mean, I agree with you, so. Yeah. yeah. But keep in mind, this is coming from two perspectives mm. of 20 year olds who have nothing else to do on a Sunday and who are POC. So it's coming from that perspective. If you are coming here, just don't listen to what um, me and my friend have to say. Be, or listen to it, but like also have an open mind to um, explore and just get your own opinion about it. We're not here to brainwash you or anything. We're just here to say, this is how we feel about it. You might have a completely different experience, but we're only halfway through, who knows? Our opinions could change later on. Another question. Oh my gosh, Kiki, they're so smart, but they don't say a lot on camera. Um, they were, they were just like, I just wanna know, or you could say it, Kiki. I just wanna know how did I started it with the whole museum, everything, and how they get all these stuff from like the ancestors. Um, basically, that's just my question. So. Yeah, like, how did they obtain all this stuff in the museum? Where did they get it from? Who gave it to them? Why did they get it to them? Did they also give them the descriptions to put with this stuff? A lot of questions, a lot of questions, and I'm posting this on hopefully Google Maps and YouTube, so let us know. Let me know, because I'm curious, and I probably could read their mission, mission statement, and they'll say it there, but, <laughs> but right now I just don't have the time, but yeah. We just want to know your thoughts and opinions, and Another question, have you visited this place before? If you have, what have you thought about it? If you haven't visited this place, would you want to visit this place and, and why? Hi everyone, um, so the video y'all just saw, I filmed like about a month ago, but I just got around to editing it and I hope you guys like my edits. Um, yeah, um, I honestly really want to know your thoughts. Um, so if you will like, you know, leave comments down below, that would be greatly appreciated. Just, and like, I promise I will read them and I just honestly want to know what does everybody think? Um. My friend Kiki isn't here <laughs> right now, and because we were both busy after we after we came back from the museum, that's why we didn't film like a conclusion or any final thoughts or anything. But um, I'll just say my final thoughts while I'm here. Um, overall, I honestly do like the museum. I know that like I was talking a lot <laughs> of smack about it or whatnot, but um, it's honestly a nice museum. Yeah. Um, would I recommend going there? Yes, I would recommend going there just because, for one, it's free. Who doesn't like free stuff? You can go there for free. Like, the day me and Kiki went there, we were really bored and kind of stressed out. So we didn't want, feel like doing homework or like working or anything that day. So we just went to the museum and it was a nice experience just to walk around, talk amongst ourselves and catch up, you know? 
and stuff like that so i do recommend going there if you have like nothing to do um is it really worth your time and energy to go there not really <laughs> i'm just gonna be honest not really just because like if you really want to learn about more about different cultures and stuff you could just look it up online or, and whatnot but um going there to like actually view art and like look at the pieces and stuff it is worth going there so how what would i rate this museum i would rate this museum seven out of eight just because some of the art pieces are interesting and whatnot and because it's free <laughs> that's like a big factor for me is that it's free because so many art places that you go to they cost a lot of money you know you know excuse me just for one person so i would recommend going there just to check it out you know if you're in the area or whatnot it's free um and yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video um and yeah please like share subscribe and i will catch y'all probably next month because monthly uploads i can't do i can't do weekly i'm too stressed out but bye